Thank you for joining me today here on A Woman's Joy. My name is Donette Douglas, and I have been honored and privileged to come into your home with this program for nine and a half years. Can you think of that? I'm telling you, I just shake my head because God is such a wonderful, wonderful Father in Heaven, Redeemer, Savior, Provider, Healer, Refuge, Strength, you name it, He's been it for me. And if you've watched the program through the years, you know I've shared that I was Miss Pity Party, and I was. I used to have the best pity parties. Oh, I'll tell you what, because my life just fell apart, and I didn't think there was any life anymore. And so I had pity parties. I let my emotions rule my life. And because I did, I withdrew from people. But praise God. I never really withdrew from God because I knew Jesus was the solid rock, the only thing that was true and stable in my life because his word is true. He'd proven it over and over in my life. But I got back into that flesh and let those emotions rob me of so much in my life. But praise God. But God, I love that when I read it in the Bible, but God, one day I was sitting at home having a pity party. You know, nobody comes to our pity parties. I don't think God even hangs around. I'm sure he's aware I'm having it, but nobody comes. But I'm sitting there having a pity party, and all of a sudden, God stirred a word in my heart that I had heard for so many years. And Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But he also reminded me that he came that I would have life and have it more abundant. Wow, I grabbed onto the abundant life. It's been here all along. I just had to receive it. It was that close, right there, right there. I just had to reach out and receive it. And I made a choice that day to let the joy of the Lord come into my life. I wanted that abundant life. And it's been a process, but that is where God has brought me from to where I am today. And I am so thankful. God has worked so much of those emotions, those things I dealt with in the past. He's working them out of me. So I've got my eyes on him far more <laughs> than I do the things of this flesh. And I am so thankful. As you know, we always like to start with a scripture about joy. So we're going to go to Hebrews today, chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. See, get your eyes back up on Jesus. He's the author and finisher of your faith. But you say, how did God, God's son, Jesus, look at the cross with joy? Because, see, he saw beyond the cross. And you and I need to be able to see beyond the cross. Because he knew that his sacrifice, shedding of his blood, the finished work at Calvary, would purchase redemption for you and me. That our sins could be forgiven, that we could be reconciled back to our Heavenly Father. And now he's sitting at the right hand of God, still interceding, praying for you and I today. So keep your eyes on him. Because I'll tell you what, he will not ever let you down. Mm -hmm. Amen and amen. Well, I we have our visitor, our monthly visitor, and I always look forward to seeing her. Seems like it's been forever since she was here, but we want to welcome back to a woman's joy today, our dear sister and friend in the Lord, Sherry McDaniel. It's so good God to be here. God bless you. I'm God so bless happy you. to be here once yes. again with you, Donna. Yes. Yeah. Just to talk about the Lord and what Amen. He's done in our lives. Because I know you've had experiences mm -hmm. in your life where you went by emotions. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> we live too much by our emotions. Yes. 
too much. Yeah. And that's what you and I started talking about. We both felt God had led us to share this with others. I know you um, are the leader of the women's ministry, sisters, mm -hmm. women's ministry there at uh, First Baptist Church in Canton, Missouri. And I was honored. I got to come to a couple of your uh, sessions when we were talking about the book that Joyce Myers wrote, Living Beyond Your Feelings. And, and uh, maybe you want to get this because I'm telling you what, there's a lot of scripture in there gotcha. and you will see yourself over and over mm -hmm. in this book. Yes, but even though I only got to come to the last two, God just ministered to me so much about living yes. by my emotions. Yes. I know you've even got to hear testimonies of, of women that mm -hmm. were in that session. Yes. Yes. We were together for eight weeks, and you know what you said in the opening was so true. Jesus looked beyond the cross. Yes. And one of our crosses that we need to look beyond is our emotions. And if we can do that, what joy there is on the other side. Oh. You know, what joy Jesus was able to give us mm -hmm. by going to the cross. But then he didn't stay on the cross, no. as we know. No. Jesus went to the cross, but rose from the grave and gave us the victory. And that's what we're talking about yes. in these sessions, learning yes. to have victory in Christ. Amen. And that's one of the things that we've been talking about, learning to control oh. our emotions <laughs> and our feelings. And, you know, one of the things that we said is that we have over 70,000 thoughts that come wow. into our mind each and every day. And I was thinking about this. I thought, there are seven billion people on the face of this planet. What would our world be like if each one of us acted on each one of those oh. thoughts as they came into our life? And that's what we're talking about. Learning to control those emotions mm -hmm. and those feelings. When we have a thought that comes mm -hmm. into our mind, that can generate a feeling. From that feeling can generate an action. And if we allow those actions to control us, that sometimes causes us, yes. as we know, mm -hmm. to have trouble. And we talked last month about how when we talk about that mm -hmm. feeling, the mm -hmm. more we talk about mm -hmm. it, the more we fuel that yes. fire, yes. the angrier or yes. more depressed hopeless yes. we will feel that just feeds it yes. so it's better not to continue to keep talking about that emotion we're dealing with right now yes and God has taught me and I know he's taught you how to go to this book right here yes and we all I'm telling you I know <laughs> I've said it a million times on this program read your yes. Bible if you want your life to change, get into the Word of God. Yes. Because these are not just words. Once it gets into your heart, it's life. Yes. The Word becomes alive. Yes. You know, the Word is Jesus. This is God Made flesh. speaking mm -hmm. to you and speaking to me. Mm -hmm. So whatever your need is, whatever that emotion is that you're dealing with, God has the answer right here in his holy yes. word. Yes. Amen. Whatever the emotion is. Whatever. And whatever. You know, women are tend to be more emotional than mm -hmm. men. But this show and this program is not just for women. No. No. Because I have seen many men mm -hmm. suffer as a result of being controlled mm -hmm. by their mm -hmm. emotions. Mm -hmm. So, as you say, in God's word, mm -hmm. in faith in him, putting our trust in him and learning yes. from his word, standing on his word we can learn this thing, that there is victory Amen. in Jesus. In Jesus. And you know, um, is we can make a choice. Hmm. Hmm. People say, well, this is how my life is. No, you can make a choice. Yes. Yeah. You can make a choice. And uh, maybe your life's that way because of a bad decision you made. Mm -hmm. Someone you've not forgiven. Oh. Uh, a hurt from way in the past. You lost some people, things that you, lo you know, loved. Uh, but a lot of our life is yes. because of bad choices that right. we made. Right. And um, we need to know we can make us a choice. God gave us free will. Yes to choose yes. to do good or to do evil and we have a choice he give us that yes. dominion uh-huh when Adam and Eve were in the yes. garden 
although they made a choice, mm -hmm. we see the result. And so often we're we're fairly quick to lay a lot of mm -hmm. guilt and blame on Adam mm -hmm. and Eve, but we need to look at ourselves too because Jesus, what he did was yes. came to restore that authority. Mm -hmm. So once again, he gave us that authority and we now have the choice. And you know, each and every day we make thousands oh. of decisions, thousands of decisions. And each one of those decisions will have a consequence. Yes. There will be a result. Yes. You know, for every action there is a reaction. Mm -hmm. For everything we do there will be a following result mm -hmm. from that. We can choose yes. to live by the principles yes. of the Word of God. Yes. And when we make that choice, although sometimes it may not be easy, mm -hmm. the path, but when we arrive, we will always see mm -hmm. victory in Jesus. Just as you said in the yes. opening, He'll never let us down. No. He'll never leave us. We'll never walk that road no. alone. Never. And even though it is a difficult road, it is one that Jesus walked before us. And He'll always hold our always. hand. Always. And you know that day, if I'd have made the choice, <laughs> mm. I was having that pity party. Mm. If I hadn't chose to receive that gift, those yeah. promises, that love, that instruction God had for me, I might still be sitting in that pity party. Yeah. Broken. Do you know, so often, I'm careful not to use food. Yeah. Because we women are pretty hard on ourselves about this. I'm an this. emotional eater. I am too. <laughs> but think about a cookie and ice cream. Mm-hmm. Now, is it wrong? Is it bad to eat a cookie and have a little dish of ice cream? No, that's mm -hmm. not wrong. Is it wrong to eat a dozen cookies and a half a gallon of ice cream? Uh huh. Yes. Why? Because that becomes overindulgence. And we mm -hmm. know, statistically, we have seen, it has been proven to us, it is in the Word of God mm -hmm. that overindulgence is not good for our health. It's no. not good for our bodies. So why do we do that? Why do we make the choice to overeat? Why do we make the choice to do those things which end up and can be harmful to our mm -hmm. bodies? Mm -hmm. We do those things because our feelings are in control mm -hmm. of our actions. But just as we talked about a few minutes before the show, those emotions, mm -hmm. what we're trying to establish and trying to allow people to begin to see mm -hmm. the only control they have mm -hmm. is what we give them. That's right. Because God has said about us, mm -hmm. we are more mm -hmm. than conquerors. Mm -hmm. And there is victory in His Word. Amen. And His promise. Amen. You know, I know I'm an emotional eater. And I always said, if I would run to the Word of God, mm -hmm. like I run to the refrigerator, yes. I would be healthier yes. and I would be closer to the Lord, yes. you know, because it's a comfort. Now, why food has become a comfort for me, I don't know. Yes. Uh, maybe because I grew up in a home my mother baked every day. My, mm -hmm. my home was very loving, safe, and mm -hmm. secure. I felt loved. Never a question to think I was ever going to be hurt or mm -hmm. anything. I had a wonderful, loving childhood. So I don't know if it was the, I don't know why, but food became comfort to me. But Jesus said, another comforter yes. shall come. Shall come. God has sent a comforter mm -hmm. to be with us. Mm -hmm. So now I have on my refrigerator, I will not <laughs> yes. have food be my comforter, but the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is my comforter. Yes. I'm trying to get that from here to here. And it becomes, I know, I know, I know that that food doesn't comfort me. It just brings added weight. And then you want to eat more. And then you feel guilty because you mm -hmm. ate more. And then you go to put your favorite dress on or slacks that doesn't fit. So it just brings nothing mm -hmm. but death, sadness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did you hear the words you used? Feel, I feel, yes. I think, yeah. I want. Yes. I feel, I think. Uh -huh. I want. Yeah. You know, um, I, I don't want to offend any of your viewers, mm -hmm. but the reason, I'm, I'm talking about me personally, yeah. the reason I'm overweight mm -hmm. is because I've allowed my actions to be controlled mm -hmm. by my feelings. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 1 Peter 5 8 says, Satan 
is like a roaring lion, yes. roaming and yes. seeing who he can devour. Well, how does he do that? You remember those 70,000 thoughts that we have every day that mm -hmm. come into our mind? Well, a lot of those thoughts, mm -hmm. Satan will put into our mind. And if he can get us to bite, That's no right. pun intended, literally yes. on uh -huh. one of those, then there he's got us and he'll begin to devour us. And what we need to know is that through Christ, we have a choice. We can make mm -hmm. a different choice. Yes. When Satan comes to put those thoughts into our mind, Philippians 4, 8, and 9 mm -hmm. says, it, God is so wonderful. Yes. He gives us what we need. He yes. shows us how to learn to take back that control. Mm -hmm. He says, think on these things. Yes. <laughs> think on what is good, yes. pure, yes. righteous, and honorable. Mm -hmm. Well, Another scripture tells us to take those, those thoughts captive. What happens when you take something captive? It becomes locked mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. And if it's locked up, it can't get out to do any harm. No. So if we take those thoughts cra captive into Christ Jesus, put our mind on Christ. Every time Satan tries to bring mm -hmm. a bad thought and have us think upon those things, mm -hmm. if we turn our mind away from that and say, no, mm -hmm. I've locked it up in the Lord, and turn our minds back on Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then we will mm -hmm. think on those things that are good, pure, right, and truthful and honorable. Yes. So how do we know? How do we know? Because the Bible also tells us, and we talked about this a mm -hmm. little earlier, that Satan is a deceiver. He's yes. a liar. He will even masquerade himself oh, yes. as the angel of light, mm -hmm. the word of God mm -hmm. tells us. He will try to yes. masquerade as God. Yes. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people perish for lack yes. of knowledge. What knowledge do we need to know? The word of God. That's right. We need to have knowledge of his word, his promises, so that when those thoughts come, mm -hmm. we have the knowledge to discern what is good, pure, righteous, yes, right. honorable, and true in the Lord. Wow. Isn't that He's something? so good. He's given us the answer. So Everything good. right here. But we choose <laughs> to live, we choose yes. to live by this flesh by these emotions so much yeah. instead of looking to God yes. for the answer. Yeah. It's just a natural reaction we have to get angry, get frustrated, get mm -hmm. stressed out. But I'm thankful that today God has showed me that I don't have to yes. get angry, yes. frustrated, and stressed out. Yeah. I can just get alone with Him and start praying, put some praise music on, start singing, you know, um, read His Word. And he'll bring me right up out of that and through it and bring a peace that passes all understanding. understanding. But we have to do the work. Yeah, yes, we, we have, have to, to be do willing it. to do the work. It's not easy. We have to be willing to want the things of God. Mm -hmm. What is good, what is right, what is yes. pure, what is honorable. More than we want what the flesh yes. wants. Our flesh as we know, Satan is going to tempt us and try yes. us. God says, I'll never do that. I'll test your heart. Mm -hmm. But he will not do that without giving us the strength. And his word tells us that he will not do that without giving us a way out. Yes. We'll never be tempted without God giving us a way out. You know, Paul, and we talked about this a little earlier, I love to read about yes, Paul. Yes, I do too. You know, one of the greatest apostles of all time, one of the greatest ministers of the gospel mm -hmm. in his day and time, and even ours now, mm -hmm. he says, I die daily to the yes. flesh. The same exact boat that Paul mm -hmm. was in, we are in now. Mm -hmm. But I am so encouraged and I am so thankful for his message because if Paul dealt with all of those same emotions and thoughts and feelings yes. and could take authority over and have victory over and do mm -hmm. the things for the kingdom of God that he did, yes. then I am encouraged Amen. to know that I can have victory. And you know what God says? I'm not a respecter of persons. Mm -hmm. If he'll do it for Paul, he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you, he'll do it for all of your right. viewers. We can have that victory. We can. You know, Paul did not look for ways to pacify his flesh. No. We live in a world 
where so many times we want to justify our behavior and our mm. actions with the Word of God. Paul did not do that. Paul didn't look for ways mm -mm. to appease his flesh. Paul looked for ways to crucify it and make his flesh obedient to the Word. Amen. And we can do that too. Yes. And it sounds like, you know, people say, oh, Christians miss out on so much. Mm. Mm. No, they don't know what, what they're saying. What a wonderful, peaceful, joyful <sighs> life there is that awaits those who are willing to be obedient and follow the Word of God. The peace of God is beyond mm -hmm. all understanding. Amen. But things can happen in your life yes. that some emotion should raise up its ugly mm -hmm. head, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. And you think, wow, <laughs> yeah. I know that's God because, well, yeah. I should be frustrated or I should have been hurt by that or mm -hmm. I should just want to lash out to them, but I don't. I love them. And I said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That is only God. And you can have that peace. Mm -hmm. You can have the peace that Sherry and I are talking about because we're always only telling mm -hmm. you about what we have experienced. Yes. Have I always been that way? No. No. I'll tell you, I, I used to <laughs> get my feelings hurt <laughs> so easy, so easy, and beat myself up. And But God has helped me to have a strength and an understanding and a peace and then a love for those people that only comes mm -hmm. from God. Only. As you were saying and talking uh -huh. about that, you'll almost surprise yourself. Mm. You know, you, you will think, well, the old Sherry would have yes. told somebody in a hurry uh -huh. about that. You know, and, and we live in a world where we're going to experience those yes, things. every day. And you know, the world is watching us. Yes. And they're looking for something different. If we're mm -hmm. acting and behaving the exact same way mm -hmm. that the rest of the world is, mm -hmm. why would they want this Jesus that we're talking right. about? Why would they want to become a Christian? Why would they want to have this way of life? Mm -hmm. So they need to see something better in us. Yes. And that something we're looking, they're looking for is the peace that you talked about yeah. surpasses all understanding that only Jesus can give us. Is it easy? Not always. You know, when you start putting your flesh, trying to line your flesh up with the Word of God, I guarantee you it's going to start talking, you know. But the result is the joy in the Lord, the strength, and the, the victory that we can have in Christ. You know, we're talking about we can make that choice. Mm. We can choose to do as God would want mm -hmm. us to do and we know that by reading the word mm -hmm. or we can choose to react <laughs> like the flesh wants and suffer the consequences yes. but you know there's a couple of scriptures in the bible here mm. proverbs 10 19 in the multitude of words yes there wanteth not sin yeah. but he that refraineth his lips is wise mm. wow to refrain these lips so by knowing God, having that close relationship with him, he helps us, give us a strength mm -hmm. that we can refrain. Because I have found, I have times, Zip it. My, I, mm -hmm. I don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. My mouth is not, mm -hmm. and I think, huh. <laughs> but God has yeah. helped me to refrain from saying something. Another uh, verse found in Luke 6, 45, for of the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. his mouth speaketh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I've heard people say, ooh, I didn't mean to say yes. that. Mm. Yeah. Well, if it's in there, it will eventually That's find right. a way out. So again, back to our thoughts, taking those thoughts captive, mm -hmm. filling our minds with the yes. Word of God. The Word tells us to meditate on it. Meditate. Day and night. Yes. The Word of God, I, I forgive me, I can't think of the address, but it says, open your mouth wide and mm. I will fill it. Yes. And that's what the world's waiting to hear. Something different than what they've seen. Yes. Something better than what they have. The hurt, the pain, mm -hmm. all the anguish, the depression, whether it's overeating, overspending, whatever mm -hmm. those emotions, mm -hmm. whatever those things mm -hmm. are that are controlling us. Yes. God has something better for us, Ugh. a better life. Did Jesus walk a path? Yes. Mm-hmm. But the price has been paid. 
Mm -hmm. Will we have to stand in faith? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course we will. But God said he'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. And he'll never fail us. Never. <laughs> I love that one. Never. <laughs> Got to put that in there. He'll never God fail, fail us. us. You know, the Bible tells us when we get saved, old things have passed away. Yes, old things. All things have become new. You know, back to the cookie. Uh -huh. If I couldn't help it before, I can help it now. Yes. Because God has given me the strength and the authority. Mm-hmm. To eat just one cookie. Yes. To eat just one scoop of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Whatever that emotion is, whatever that feeling is, whatever that thing is that has had control over us, whatever we bowed down, given to, or mm -hmm. surrendered our flesh to, God says, I've given you a new life. Yes. You have the authority and you have my strength, but it'll take your faith mm -hmm. to stand up and receive it. Yes. And you will not have to bow to those emotions anymore any longer amen amen faith and you know the bible says that he has given to each one the measure of faith so mm -hmm. he gave mm -hmm. it to you too mm -hmm. it's just what you're doing with it and about amen. it amen. and if we choose to ignore god and not feed ourselves mm in the word, not spend time with him in prayer, not confess our sins and ask him to forgive us and draw close to him, well, things in life, <laughs> mm. we're going to be living mm. by the flesh more than we are by the spirit. Mm. And the Bible tells us in Romans 8 yes. to walk by the spirit and not by the flesh. And I know, Sherry, the time's about out, and mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you, can we please continue this? Would you stay? And we'll do another program because I believe we need to go some more into emotions and the flesh and sin and that people understand that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. He will help us overcome. He says we can be more than conquerors through Jesus Christ in this word. Mm -hmm. And as you know this word, you will understand these things are true and you will stand upon them. And you won't listen yes. to the lies of that enemy that will feed them to you all day long. You'll say, uh-uh, mm -hmm. that's not what my Father mm -hmm. in heaven says. He says that all things are possible with God. So don't tell me that I'm not worthy, that I can't do this, that I've not had schooling, I've not had the education, I don't look the proper way. Don't tell me that mm -hmm. because my God, my Father in heaven says, I can do all things through Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens me. We'll see you next week. God bless. Have joy in your heart today. Ask Jesus in, okay? One day I was walking in a world of sin, no rest for my weary soul. Then I met a man, said he'd be my friend, all my burdens he did roll. He took those worldly desires, gave me heavenly fire, now I got